let you know what we're doing. Our part one here is going to be the first 20 minutes of the hit. Our timers are set on 40, 20. 40 seconds is doing the exercise on the list, 20 seconds in plank. So you'll do the exercise, drop to plank for 20 seconds, back to the same exercise, and then move on. Each exercise done twice, and then we're gonna move on. Ready for part one? All right, I'm ready for part one. Okay, timer set on 40, 20. Here we go. First exercise of push-ups your way. And that it is exactly just that. So if you're going to do push-ups on your toes, then do them on your toes. If you need to be on your knees, then be on your knees. If you're just starting doing push-ups, then I want you to do slow-mo push-ups like this. Control your body down. Control your body up. Okay? Your level. If you're feeling super burly and you want to do clap push-ups, then please do that. Plyometric push-ups. Breathe. Nice straight back. Don't let your shoulders fall in between your shoulder blades like this. Back nice and taut. Good. And then plank. When you're in plank, a proper plank, your wrist, elbow, and shoulders are in one line. You don't want to have your hands out in front of you like this. Right underneath your elbows. Right underneath your shoulders. If you prefer to be on your elbows in plank, please go ahead. And we're back to push-ups. If you can't get all the way down in your push-ups yet, that's okay. I'd rather you just go a really short push like this than lose form. So don't let your shoulders relax in between your scapulas. Nice and tall and push. Plank. Back to plank. Hold your abdomen in nice and tight to protect your back during plank and breathe. If you need an extra challenge in the plank position, you can stack your feet. You can lift a foot. On to the next exercise, which is a wall sit with an oogie ball lift. Sit against the wall, make it 90 degrees. Lift the oogie ball up. Tap the wall. Bring it straight arm down. Lift it high. Straight arm down. Breathe. We've got 20 seconds to go. The wall sit all by itself is a challenge, and I find the oogie ball a pleasant distraction. Five seconds. Breathe. Get ready to hit that plank. You want to be interesting, you can do plank on oogie. Oh! Plank your way, guys, right? Make it interesting, make it fun. Hold those abs in tight. Four seconds, three, two, back up into your wall sit, get down, find your 90 degrees in those legs, and lift it. It's not a curl and press, it's a straight out in front to the knees, bring it up tall. 20 seconds to go, and then we'll go straight back into our plank. Breathe. Eight seconds. Keep it strong. Ooh, my thighs are shaking. Ah. Lift and down. I thought that was kind of fun, so I'm going to go on to the oogie ball for my plank once more. And breathe. Where are we going next? Standing pendulums are next. No equipment required. Just some balance. Okay, put the oogie away. Standing pendulums, you stand on one foot, one leg comes up to the side, jump, switch, jump, switch. It helps to find a, a focal point on the floor. Breathe. Up as high as you can without making yourself fall. Breathe. 
bottom, inner outer thigh, glute, love. Three seconds, three, two, one, go to plank. If you found yourself kind of flying all over the place during that exercise, you have another chance right now. Find your focal point, breathe. Here we go again, I've got mine. What is your focal point? If you find the jump is a little too much for you, you can always just walk it. Make a tight tush at the top, but we want you jumping. You're working towards jumping. Breathe. Find your stability. Work towards a stable body so that you don't fall down. Breathe. Down in the plank. I'm going to go plank facing you this time. We're going to go into the right leg lunges back into a kick. Breathe. Okay, right leg's kicking. You're lunging back into a deep lunge. Push off of the forward leg. Kick the right leg up to have a tap. Down. Down. I'm going to go profile so you guys can see. Down. Ten seconds. Keep it strong. Deep lunge back. Now we're kicking on right leg, and remember, you're going through each exercise twice, so we're going to kick that right leg again, okay? We're not going back and forth. We get through each exercise twice before we move on. Five seconds. Nice work, guys. Here we go. Kicking the right leg again. We'll go face you this time. It's going to be like I'm kicking you. The leg you're standing on should feel fatigued by this point, and you're fighting through. If it doesn't, you might need to carry a sandbag during this exercise. Make it a little more challenging. Six seconds. I'll tell you my leg is on fire. Okay, plank it is. Planking, folks. Now we're gonna kick the left leg, same exercise, through twice. Are your wrists, elbows, and shoulders in one line? See that they are. Three seconds. Two, one, kicking the left leg. Here we go. Bringing it down. Stay with it. seconds to go. We're doing a lot of plank in this workout because core strength and stability is so important. It feeds all the other exercises and makes them all stronger. Breathe. Here we go. Kicking the left leg. Coming toward you. Take your time and really focus on balancing on this leg as I fall. Balancing on pushing off of that heel.
Leg fatiguing, eight seconds. Plank. I'm gonna go this way so I can see what's next. We've got V ups coming up next, so I'm gonna have to grab my mat. Breathe. Grab the mat real quick. Alright, we're down. We're being up. Get your plank. Remember, we're going to do that same side again. Woo! It's warm in here. My core is starting to really feel all this plank. Who designed this workout? We're back. Bringing it up. If you're not quite ready to come into this position, you can do leg to hand this way and leave one leg on the ground here reach here open close open close okay but for the rest of us you're coming up Pushing off the forearm of your opposite down here. Bring your upper body up. into an alternative move, then do so. Stretch it out, contract. Stretch it out, contract. Nice job, guys. Okay. Woo, we got broad jumps next. Hold that plank and get ready to jump. Woo -woo! We're going to jump from one side of this room to the other. Okay. Ready? I'm going to go back and forth. Sink into it. Jump. 180 jump. Broad jump. 180 jump. 180 jump. 180 jump. 180 jump. 
certainly just do a jump squat to your jumping in place, basically. Ooh, that last round was a difficult plank for me. Here we go. Jump. Try to land as softly as you can and absorb your shock by bending those legs.
The next part is 15 minutes. We're going to do couplets. You guys love couplets, right? We're going to do a round of skipping. This couplet, these two exercises, back and forth, back and forth. So each one of these is going to be five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. And then part three, give you a little sneak preview, is going to be five minutes of espressos. What? Okay, here we go. All right. The board is there. The timer is set. We're working on 50-10. We're starting with skipping. Get your ropes. If you don't have a skipping rope, you're doing high knees. Okay? I don't care for high knees, so I'm going to skip. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. You're skipping or high knees right now. more danced you can do double unders if you want to do one leg something like that you can or a little girl I call this little girl skipping <laughs> little girl skipping
over that head. Awesome. Twenty three seconds. Fight for it. Three, two, one. Okay, we've got 10 seconds rest and then we're going to skipping. So we're five minutes in, 10 minutes to go. Ready? What kind of skipping are you gonna do? Here we go, have fun with it.
than this. But I don't happen to have a super heavy one with me. This actually drags slides easier than you would think. The rubber on wood. 15 seconds. Fight for it, guys. We're going into skipping after this for our last couplet. Three, two, one. You can stay there happily. The last couplet, we're going to use the oogie ball. right in the little girl skipping this time. I'm not even going to try <laughs> to do some more advanced skipping right now because I'm cooked. Every time I spin the rope, I can feel my arms pulsing. The sweat is <laughs> great today. You guys sweating? Let's have a sweating contest. Jump it up.
Under the three minute mark. So glad I'm not doing this with 15s right now. After that long workout. Are you guys watching? 
the clock. If not, I'll tell you, we just hit one minute. One minute left. Oh my gosh. Victorious in less than a minute. you'll slide on the one that you're braced on. Whew. 